thinker, author, entrepreneur, and somebody I consider the father of modern marketing, Seth Godin, once defined great marketing in four words. And those four words were make big promises over deliver. I like to say the same thing slightly differently, more so in today's context when the jostle for attention has become very, very intense for brands in the physical spaces as well as uh, digital spaces. I like to say that great marketing happens when brands tell interesting stories and over deliver. It's still four words, tell interesting stories over deliver. But then again, as Seth Godin says, just because it's four words doesn't mean it's easy. As far as brands and marketers are concerned, what is the process of storytelling? More importantly, how does one start? In the context of brands, storytelling has to be seen as the coming together of two distinct components, the story and the telling. This might seem very obvious, but brands sometimes tend to put the carriage before the horse. In other words, there is a tendency to go after ways of telling interesting stories even before the core story has been figured out and clearly spelled out. Every brand needs to find its core story, not stories, but its own core story. And in order to figure out what the core story can be for a brand, who better to turn to than the two gentlemen called Al Rees and Jack Trout, who introduced us to the idea of positioning decades ago. One might say, well, positioning is a great idea, but what's that got to do with storytelling? Well, I would say everything. The germ of a brand's core story lies in its positioning. If we look at the positioning statements of uh, great brands, brands that are great storytellers, it's clear that the stories they tell originate from their positioning statement. So a brand's journey to become a great storyteller has to start at the beginning, which is writing an effective and precise positioning statement. From there, the core brand story comes out. There onwards, it's all about telling that core story interestingly, in different ways and yet consistently, and more importantly, living up to the story, and if possible, making the reality even better than the story. 